Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca, and today we will be reviewing the Bosch IP loudspeakers and the IP amp module. In this video, we will focus on the connections and the general specifications of the IP horns and amp module. First, let's check out the speakers. Both models have similar specifications. The main difference between the two models is that L represents long throw, while the W indicates wide coverage angle, providing a broader range. These speakers come equipped with built-in Class D amplifiers and DSP. They can be powered using either PoE or PoE+, offering two different power options. The speakers can auto-negotiate between PoE and PoE+, so no manual switching is needed. Some notable features include audio integration based on the OnVIF standard into video management systems, line in and out connections, as well as GPIO, general purpose inputs and outputs, internal message storage, eliminating the need for a separate message manager, integrated microphone, support for the Bosch alarm task script, enabling direct camera integration, SIP support, allowing calls to be made to the speakers from a SIP phone extension, including support of SIP cloud-based server providers. Some use cases include construction sites to secure expensive stock and make audio warnings to trespassers, city surveillance, like parking lots, preventing vandalism and theft, industry, announcing hazards, securing properties, the wide-angle horn gives optimal coverage of open areas, railway stations, live announcements from traffic control. Now let's take a closer look at the connections and the speaker itself. To access the cable connections, remove the four cover screws and pull the cover off. The IP horn supports PoE and PoE+. You need one Ethernet cable to connect to a PoE switch. There are two lights on the Ethernet jack. A solid green indicates the port is operating at 1000 megabits. Flickering indicates network activity. There is a yellow and orange light that indicates operation at 100 megabits. It will also flicker to indicate network activity. This is the GPIO connection. It allows you to connect general purpose inputs and outputs. To connect analog audio, you connect here. Either of these connections can be wired up through this cable gland. The integrated microphone provides talkback, or two-way SIP, ambient noise level trigger, and auto volume control. Use this switch to toggle the microphone on and off. There is a button for testing and resetting purposes. The button performs different actions depending on how long you press it. 1 to 5 seconds and the horn will play a default message to test the loop between the speaker and the microphone. 6 to 10 seconds, the IP address of the horn is reset to factory defaults. And keep holding the button for 11 to 20 seconds, the horn will reset back to factory default. These tests can also be performed remotely from a control room. And finally, let's take a look at the amplifier module. The IP amplifier module is designed as a flexible solution. It interfaces with an IP SIP system on one side and has low impedance and or line level out on the other side for connection to loudspeakers directly or via a local amplifier. I hope this overview has provided you with a good understanding of the Bosch IP loudspeakers and the IP amplifier module. Please like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.